Hello. In this Alice tutorial, we will learn about the while loop. The while loop will keep repeating the commands inside it until the Boolean expression that defines it is no longer true. To better understand Boolean expressions, it's recommended that you watch the videos on if and else first. Right here we have a very simple Boolean expression, true. True is always going to be true, so this is going to be an infinite loop. Let's write some code to see how that works. We're going to have the eagle say tweet. We're going to speed this up, duration a quarter of a second. Then we're going to go to the big bad wolf, have it say grr. Again, speed this up for 0.25 seconds. So every time this loop goes through, it will take a total of 0.5 seconds. Let's run it. These two characters are going to keep saying their thing over and over again forever. Now sometimes we do want a infinite loop because we want the commands to keep executing forever. Sometimes we want something a little more complex. For example, we might create a variable. Let's create a whole number. We'll call it x. Initialize it to 3. And we are going to have this loop run while x is greater than 2. So we're going to hit run. Now this is also turning out to be an infinite loop because x never gets changed inside this while loop. So since x's value never changes, it still stays greater than 2. Let's add something to decrement the value of x every time we go through the loop. We're going to use the assign command. So at the end of the loop, we're going to assign x to be equal to x minus 1. So every time it goes through the loop, we subtract 1 from the value of x. That new number is x's new value. Let's start out x at a higher number, 6. So the first time that this is run through, x, which is 6, will be greater than 2. x is decremented to 5, 5 is still greater than 2. x is decremented to 4, 4 is still greater than 2. x is decremented to 3, 3 is still greater than 2. x is decremented to 2, 2 is no longer greater than 2, so we will continue on in the program. In this case, the program will terminate because there's no more commands. So let's see what happens. There we go, the program's over. If we put something after that, for example, we had the carp change its opacity to 0.5. So after all this runs through, it's going to continue on to set opacity. We see that the carp became more transparent. Another important thing to understand is in some cases a while loop may never run at all. Let's say we change the Boolean expression to be x is greater than 8. We'll set x equal to 6. 6 is not greater than 8, so it will skip over the while loop and go down and set the carp's opacity to 0.5. The while loop will not be executed. There's many interesting things that we can do with the Boolean expression in the while loop. We can compare decimal numbers, whole numbers, objects, text strings. We can even make compound Boolean expressions by using the AND command or using the OR command.